yo my people them cfc realist blue back with another video and in this chelsea news update you're going to be discussing the transfer news regarding moises caicedo and michael lise before we get into the video please help me get 500 subscribers and help me get 20 likes on this video thank you to all thank you to everyone for your support and it means a lot to me that you guys enjoy my content feel free to leave a comment down below on whether you think Chelsea should sign Elise or Moises Caicedo and do you think we will get them let me know in the comment section below but yeah let's get into it now so the news that came out today boy Chelsea are expected to make a third bid for Moises Caicedo soon but we are aware that the deal won't be done swiftly as Brighton will be will, will, are willing to hold down to the end of the transfer window for a hundred million. That is the price that they want. And whether we get that price, we're going to have to be paying at least 90 million, in my opinion, at least 90 million. We've made two offers already and the latest offer was 70 million. That was rejected. That had no add-ons, no bonuses or anything like that. And that got rejected swiftly, which I'm not surprised about because Arsenal put in a 70 million bid in January and it got rejected. So 80 million for me was always the price at the minimum that we'd have to pay. But we actually need to put that bid in because the longer we let this thing store is the closer the Premier League gets. And just makes it less ideal for Caicedo to get integrated to the team. It would have been ideal for him to be in the pre-season team. But it's not the case. He's not even in the Brighton squad. And he doesn't want to be at Brighton. That's one of the biggest issues. But it's due to the fact that the reason why it's so tough is because in January, he signed a four-year deal. That four-year deal makes it just so much more longer. He doesn't have to leave Brighton, even though he wants a bigger challenge, even though he wants to come to Chelsea. They don't have to. That's just the realness of it. Unless we put in a bid that's good enough for them, he won't be coming to Chelsea, but I believe the board will get the deal done and hopefully he'll be here boy, within the next couple of weeks before the Premier League starts. But I'm now doubting that he will be here before the Premier League starts. So just hopefully we have to get him because this is the player that we need the most out of anyone in any position right now. So just get this deal done. We cannot afford to miss out on Moises Caicedo, not at all, because then we can't compete for top four like that, in my opinion. If we get Caicedo, people could look at us and like, yep, they should def they can definitely get top four. Without him, we don't know. This is the difference. This is the level of player that we need in Caicedo. And as you can see from the clips, he's a player that can receive the ball in tight spaces. He's a player that can push up with the ball, can put a ball across left, right, can disrupt um, the other team's attack, break up play. And boy, he doesn't have any weakness in my opinion. He doesn't have any weakness. There's nothing he can't do that's not very good or good at all because he is boy, one of the best in his position. And it was shown last season, in his first season in the Premier League, he was able to help Brighton get Europa League football first time in their history so that speaks enough for itself we need him and hopefully we can get him but yeah man you guys let me know what you think do you think Caicedo will become to Chelsea let me know down below but now we're going to be moving on to Michael Elise and it was reported yesterday that Chelsea had agreed terms with Elise and he was apparently going to put in a 45 million bid, but I'm very confused as to that because now there's apparently a 35 million release clause in Elise's contract. We, along with Manchester City, are teams that are interested, but we are more advanced. Nothing's advanced right now. I don't mean to say advanced, but we are we are trying to him more and have held and have held excessive talks with him. And I feel like what is on our side is the fact that Elise used to be in the Chelsea Academy. He was one of the Cobham boys once upon a time. And for him to come back here, 
it could be very good. Not only would he provide competition for Madweki on the right-hand side, but he's someone that can play on the right or in the middle. Left-footed, he's very talented, and even his importance for Crystal Palace, if you saw the Premier League last season, if you've watched Crystal Palace games, you'd know that Elise is a baller, someone that can start on the left, but drift in, get inside, and also can get goals. Not only that, but he can get good assists as well. You see his balls from a corner or just in a, or just in general from dead ball situations. He can be as creative as like what Hakim Ziyech could have been for Chelsea with the left foot. They're very similar players. On the left hand side can drift in, can put in a good ball, can take a shot, be very creative, take on players. This is the kind of profile that we like to be seeing and something that I hope that um reaps benefits because Elise is a bowler. We've also been linked with Kudus as well, but that's a topic for another day. I'll be real to you. But yeah, man, Elise, if we sign him, that is excellent for me. Premier League proven, fits the vision that we're building, young talents, building to dominate for the future. <sighs> Boy, if we get him, this will be great. And as long as we get him, Caicedo, that just reinforces the attack, that reinforces our midfield and makes us much more stronger in order to get Champions League football during next season. So hopefully we can get these players, but it's not going to be easy. Manchester City are involved. So we have to hope and pray that the Cobham links pay off because if they don't, at least they could go to um, Man City. They have now sold Riyad Mahrez, so they have a space vacant on the right-hand side. So it won't be easy, but as the days goes on, there will be more reports. So I'll let you guys know once I have more information. But on that note, thank you to you guys for getting this far. Let me know what you think of these targets. And as you can see from the clips, let me know how excited you are that we are just linked with these kind of guys. Because for many years, we weren't linked with these level of players. And the scouting is doing wonders right now. So big up the board for doing their thing. Let's make sure we can get these deals done. At least Moise Caicedo, that is the big thing. But if we can get at least as well, that is brilliant. That is brilliant. But yeah, man, you guys let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments. Thank you for all the support. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Tell your friend, tell their friend, tell their friend. Subscribe to CFC underscore Willis Blue on YouTube. And follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, and Facebook for more Chelsea content. I'm CFC Willis Blue, and I'm out. Peace. Come on, Chelsea. Come on, Chelsea.